Okay, on this assignment here, you are going to be given four equations. You need to solve them, but you will not be doing the same thing on every problem. Now, I've set up the factoring boxes for you. Tomorrow, you're going to have to set them up yourself. Okay, so we got negative 3x to the second plus 30x. There's two x's, and if I have that and that, we have to see zero. We have it. And there's only two terms, one and Two, count the number of big numbers you see, and that tells you how many terms. There's two terms. So all you do with two terms is find the GCF, and then you'll have your factor one and factor two. So look at the two. You got a negative in front. We need to put a negative there. That has X. That has X, so we need to put X. Now, 30 and 3. We check 3. Now, 3 divided by 1 is 3, so 1, 3. Does 3 divide by 2 nicely? No, it's a decimal. And then I come to 3, so got my factors. Now, can I divide 3 by 3? Yeah, it's 1. And 30 divided by 3 is 10, so negative 3x is the GCF. So I pull that out, and then I divide by negative 3x. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1. x squared divided by x is always x. And then positive 30 divided by negative 3 is negative 10. So you need to put minus 10. And when you have the same x over the same x, you cancel those out. But you don't hear because that's a second. That's not. Okay, so that's f1. That's f2. And now you solve. So negative 3x can equal 0. 1x minus 10 can equal 0. You don't need to add or subtract. You need to just divide by negative 3. That gives me 0 for my first answer. Plus 10, plus 10. And I get 10 for my second. Okay, my next problem. Now this time, I'm going to do it a little bit different because... We have our zero. That's good. But this time there's more than two terms. There's one, two, three terms. Okay? So I need my GCF, but then I need to go do my t-test. GCF, negative, you don't have it in front, so don't put it. x squared, x, and nothing, so don't put x. You've got one, two, and 24. One would be your smallest, and the only factor of one is one. And these will divide by 1, but if it's 1, just cross it out. Okay, now it's time for the T test. So A times C. Positive 1 times negative 24. Negative 24, difference. Because it's negative, you're looking for a difference that needs to equal 2. 24 minus 1 ain't 2. 12 minus 2 ain't 2. 8 minus 3 ain't 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. Book it. Okay. So I have minus 2, so you need minus 6, and it's a difference, so they can't match. It's plus 4. Okay, A equals 1. So I'm good to go there. So X, X, and then it's plus 4 and minus 6. Okay, so that's F1, and that's F2. So X plus 4 can equal 0, or X minus 6 can equal 0. You take the F1 and F2 expressions, set them both equal to 0, and then you solve them. So I have negative 4 and positive 6. Okay, next one. There's two answers I need to find. And I'm back to only having one, two big numbers. So two terms, okay? So all i got to do is do the GCF. And on these ones, the GCF is not one, okay? So you will not just cross it off because otherwise what are you going to do? Do you have a negative in front? Yep. You have X second, X. Everything's got X, so we put X. 14 and 16, so let's check 14, okay? Underline them so you can see where they're at. What are factors of 14? Well, if I divide 14 by 1, I get 14. 
If I divide it by 2, I get 7. And it doesn't divide by 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just back to 7. Okay, can you divide 16 by 14? No, I don't think you can. It's a decimal. Well, you can, but you don't want to get a decimal. Can you divide 16 by 7? No. Can you divide it by 2? Yes. So 2 is the GCF. Negative 2x. Negative 2x, wrap it. Negative 2x, negative 2x. So negative 14 divided by negative 2 is 7. x squared divided by x is always x. 16 divided by negative 2 is negative 8. So minus 8. And x, the same type of x, will cancel out. So that's f1, and that's f2. So negative 2x can equal 0, or 7x minus 8 can equal 0. So box it, divide by negative 2, and I get 0. Plus 8, plus 8, I get 7x, I get 8, and then I divide by 7. Now, 8 divided by 7 is a horrid-looking decimal, so you put 8 over 7. Okay, there are three terms. That's why I have it set up the way I do. Follow the steps. GCF, negative in front, nope. X squared X, nothing, okay. 1, 11, 24. Well, okay, so 1. Well, the only factor is 1, and I know I can divide by 1, but that means it's pointless to factor out a GCF. ABC, because we got to do our T test. So I take A times C. I take 1 times 24. 1 times 24 is 24. It's positive. So I'm looking for a sum of two factors that would add up to the 11. 24 plus 1 is not 11. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 2 plus 12 is not 11. 24 divided by 3 is 8. 3 plus 8, 11. Okay? So we got minus 11. So you minus 8 for sure. And then a sum means the signs have to match. Okay? So minus 8, minus 3. A is 1, so I'm good to go. I just go x, x, and then minus 3, minus 8. Okay, so that's f1, that's f2. So x minus 3 equals 0. x minus 8 is 0. Plus 3, plus 3, 1x equals 3, so I have 3. Plus 8, plus 8, 1x equals 8. Okay, 40x squared minus 20x. That's two terms, so all I have to do is the GCF, and I will be able to get my two answers from that. GCF, no negative there. x squared, x. We need to place an x. 40 and 20, 20. 1 and 20. What's 20 divided by 2? It's 10, 2, 10. What's 20 divided by 3? Oh, it doesn't. 20 divided by 4 is 5, so 4 and 5. And then the next number is 5, so I stop because I already have 5. That's all the factors. When you run into a dividing by a number you already have down, it's done. Can you divide 40 by 20? You know you can divide 20 by 20, but can you also... Yeah, you can divide, so 20x is the GCF. So 40 divided by 20 is 2. x squared divided by x is x. Negative 20 divided by 20 is negative 1, so I put minus 1, and if I have the same x over it, we just cancel it. So that's F1 and F2. So 20 times X can equal 0, or 2 times X minus 1 can equal 0. So here all I have to do is divide by 20, and 0 divided by anything is 0. Plus 1, plus 1, 2X is 1. Divide by 2. That doesn't divide. It's a decimal. You can write 0 0.5 or you can write 1 half. Either way is good. 
Okay, next one. Again, I now I have one, two, and three. So GCF, negative, no, nope, X, X, nothing, okay? Get one, three, and 54. One is the smallest. The only factor of one is one, okay? So forget it. A times C. So I take one times negative 54. That's going to be negative 54, okay? So I got a negative, so it's a difference. Remember, those signs will not be a match if it's different. So they have to be the opposite. So that's 3. 1 and 54, not a difference of 3. 2 and 27. 27 minus 2 ain't 3. 3 and 18. 18 minus 3 is not 3. 54 divided by 4, decimal, decimal, 6 and 9, bingo, 9 minus 6 is 3. So I've got plus 3, so you got plus 9, and they can't match up on difference, they have to be opposite. So A is 1, so we just go X, X, and minus 6, and plus 9. Okay, so... Get your two answers here, F1, F2. So X minus 6 equals 0, X plus 9 equals 0. Plus 6, plus 6, 1X is 6. Minus 9, minus 9, I get negative 9. Don't need to divide by 1. Okay, next problem, negative 15x squared plus 45x. This is me being stupid. All I need is this because I've got 1, 2. GCF, you got a negative in front. Yep. X, X, you got to put X. 15 and 45, so let's go with 15, the smaller of the group. 1 and 15, 15 is not divisible by 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. It is not divisible by 4, and then I just come to 5 again. Okay, can you divide 45 by 15? Yeah, it's 3. So negative 15x would be the GCF. After that's out, parenthesize it. That's going to be positive 1, and that's always x negative 3, so minus 3, and that cancels out. Okay, so that's F1, and that's F2. So in F1, negative 15x can equal 0. F2, 1x minus 3 equals 0. Box, divide by negative 15, divide by negative 15, and that's 0. Okay. All right, next one. I've got one, two, three. So I'm going to have to do a GCF and then run my T test. GCF, negative in front, no. X squared, X, nothing. Okay. And one is 1, 12, and 35. One's the smallest out of that group. So the only factor is one, which means it's pointless to do the GCF. So A, B, C. So A times C. 1 times 35 is 35, positive, sum of 12, okay? That does not add up to 12. It's not divisible by 2. It's not, 35 does not divisible by 3. It's not divisible by 4, 5, and 7. What's 5 plus 7? Oh, it's 12, okay? So put the signs, it's plus 12, so it's plus 7, and a sum they have to match, so plus 5. A equals 1, okay, so I just need 2, because I know that 1, the reason why I can just, if I know A is 1, X squared, I can just put X and X, because X times X is 1 X squared. And then plus 5, plus 7, 
Okay, that's f1, that one's f2. So x plus 5 equals 0, x plus 7 equals 0. Negative 5. Negative 7. Okay, do it, it's set up for you. 